Welcome everyone. Today we will talk about the ester reaction by using continuous straight time reactor. Okay. After we add the component, the component is acetic acid, ethanol, H2O, ethyl acetate. Okay, let's define fluid package. In our case, in RPL. It's suitable for our case. Then let's set the reaction. Add prices and kinetic kind of one. And let's define the reaction from here. We pick then component acetic acid and ethanol. The product stream is E S that and H two O. Don't forget. Top of minus one, minus one, and one, and water here we have to add. Okay, one. Okay, let's define the face molar concentration, concentration, and the face equals one, and define the constant a p a zero point eight zero zero a zero and zero now it's ready okay now add the third package okay now it's ready. Let's go to simulation and we have to add <coughs> stream number one and define our condition temperature 25, 100 kilowatts scale or 150 kilowatts scale. And mass flow kilogram per hour for the composition zero point thirty and zero point and zero point five and zero now okay. Let's add three reactors from pellet. Oh, from here, my friend. Uh, also find it by pressing F close. Okay, the yeah, effort add three. Also add the valve. About one in the front of the sheet to the actor. Permitting the bus car and creating the hall and structuring specific the box universal facing inside the wall itself. 
for the reactor inlet storing feed and level outlet B1 and L1 for bottom one. Okay, go to kilometer volume. 3.6 and liquid volume 100 go to reaction seat reaction here seat one the preference reaction and property page and it's now okay valve one eleven parameter <clears throat> no, it's okay for the second reactor the same liquid one v2 l2 now in the same way parameter 3.6 100 okay then reaction in the same way my friend it's okay like for v2 and two okay so then you can rate your valve if you want to use dynamic mode So the final reactor here L2 B3 L3 <coughs> also reaction seat one and go design parameter. You have to specify your volume. Okay, in the same way, B3, B3, and then parameter defined, then Final so parameter can be defined in writing just manufacturing and specify methods universal and size uh, of all. Now, the our our simulation. In steady state, it's okay. You can just need to it. Okay, you can also add a table for your for your uh, stream, the output stream like this. And okay, now it's okay for Steady state, we have to install some controller in dynamic mode. Okay, behind B, okay, for maybe flow. Till flow, 
we have Select PV plus four and the output what is value one hundred. Actually, select it's defined the. Uh, Range and parameter you have defined BB minimum and maximum. Okay, okay. max twenty. Okay, now okay. so. yeah. that's it. Any choice you can see, display, and now go to dynamic mode. <clears throat> it's now okay, my friends. You can also need another controller, uh, for example, with the controller of uh, liquid percent here in the reactor by controlling the valve 100 volt. Also, you can add control for the pressure, everything. Okay, my friend, that's my power result. In the next tip, we can talk about the dynamic mode and DCS system. Thank you very much and hope.